everybody, and welcome back to Challenge Express. Choo choo. Never gonna forget that again because of you. Uh, we are here. We're gonna recap episode six of Double Agents. I am Tom, joined by Nicole. What's going on, Nicole? Not too much. I'm going to Disney World tomorrow. You're going to Disney World tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I just finding out about this? You wait till we start recording to drop the bomb? <laughs> because like, honestly, I just like remembered. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of like forgot about it. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, that's tomorrow. I need to pack. Wow. Lucky you. Why are you going? Just cause or is it work related? Trying to get coronavirus. Time to get it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got to get it over with. Yeah. I figured now is the time because it was like 50% off the price and there's 30% capacity. So I don't normally like human beings. Ooh. I, I figured if there's 30% of what there normally is, like that might be manageable. Yeah. So I was like, let's just do it. Yeah. You want to go to Disney World? Ooh, too many people. What if there's <laughs> 70% less people? Sign me up. Yeah. Wait, and also half the price. Wait, is Disney? I get mixed up uh i'm drunk is it disney world or disneyland in florida it's 11 20 a.m i think it's from last night um <laughs> i'm going to the one in florida so i don't know which one that is yeah me neither yeah anyway, <laughs> anyway. this is why we talk about the challenge because we know about the challenge <laughs> yeah, I don't nothing know else about anything else don't ask us about anything else. I don't know what time my flight is. I don't know what time I return. I don't know, like, I don't know anything. I just, all I know is I need to pack and like get into a car in the morning. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's get going on this recap. Um, we haven't seen a lot of Teresa. Yeah. I until know. this episode. And I've been complaining. I'm like, oh, why aren't they giving Teresa any airtime? And now I regret it. Yeah, right. So yeah, I'm interesting to hear your take. Obviously, this is the first time you are seeing Teresa play this game. Um, and honestly, it's not much different from how she re how she has played it in the past. Definitely the most cutthroat she's ever played it because last time she played the game, she was not a parent. So I feel like she cared more about the people in the house. But with having two kids and a husband at home, you know, after seeing this episode, you know she's here strictly for business reasons. Okay, all right. So yeah, I don't remember. I never saw her play, um, but I just know what you've told me. She uh, definitely, something that was very reminiscent was her being in power and just like really taking advantage and, you know, getting all that she can out of having power, intimidating people, making moves, like she went all out. I don't think she did anything good. I think she like thinks she did, but I only time will tell. Um, well, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of silly. It's like, she thinks she's making all these like big, really smart power moves, but it's like for the immediate, like 10 minutes, it'll be fine. But she's not thinking about the rest of the game. And it just seems honestly uh, pretty stupid. I think I mean, they're, they're both pretty dumb. Who knows? It seems like, they're doomed for the entire rest of the game. I agree. But there were a lot of people that voted with Teresa. So maybe those people, one of those people can win the daily challenge and she's safe still. Yeah. It's not yeah. certain that everybody will go after her, even though that's how the episode was edited. You know, yeah. Leroy and Cam. And like even Ky uh, Kyle's like, you really messed up. You pissed off me, Corey, Ashley, it's like everyone in elimination. Obviously, everybody in elimination is going to be pissed off at the yeah. double agents. Yeah, yeah, I actually was thinking the same thing when he only named the people down in the elimination. So I was like, but is there anyone else or is it just the four of you? Um, I don't know. I didn't care for her. Yeah, but she was, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. It was a great episode. Um, yeah, it. Um, it was cutthroat for sure. <laughs> it was fucked up. Jay is an idiot. What? What is so? So Jay, in my opinion, it's like, are you sleeping with Teresa? Like, why are you? Why are you screwing up your entire game for Teresa? Like, it, it's almost like a rookie move. And yeah. 
he is still kind of a rookie, but no, he, there's no excuse. He knows better. Yeah, it's a learning. He definitely learned something, but yeah, you can't. Females and men have different games in this season, especially. You need to look out for your game, which is the guys' game, and you just pissed off a lot of guys by letting fans. Teresa control the girls' day. Yeah. And also, a lot of the guys are now like, that's not good for the guys' game. The guys want strong women in the competition. So that's not good for his game. That's not good for any of his boys' game. Like, that's not. Yeah. He like I said, time will tell. Um, I don't know. He just probably felt like cool. Like, oh, yeah, let's just, yeah, this is a great plan. But, like, I don't think he thought through it. I swear, man, power in this game is blinding. Yeah. Um, Nani and Teresa have a pretty rocky past. Um, they've definitely gotten into it on previous seasons verbally and very close to physical. So, you know, it's only a matter of time before they butt heads and one of the other explodes on one of the other, most likely Nani will be the one popping off on Teresa and Teresa will kind of just like shut her out and be like, I don't care. I don't care. It's usually how it goes between them. Yeah, and well, also with when Lolo confronted Teresa, Teresa kind of was just like, kind of laid down like a wounded dog. It was just like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, oh, all right. So you're all bark. Got it. Yeah. But then again, she has a family at home. So like, it's, she shouldn't be like, you know, being immature on reality TV. Like, it, yeah, I just think some of the moves, obviously, she did throughout this episode were just unnecessary yeah um which we will get to but first let's get to something else that might be unnecessary um hot topic leo goes home um due to mental health issues uh him growing up in a group home uh for a short amount of time during his childhood and just kind of like those uh feelings and emotions being resurfaced while and he's in this house don't forget he has a pregnant wife at home that's more of the reason why i think he went home and well, rightfully like, so a lot, yeah like i think there's a lot of things i mean i i even said it on one of these podcasts i was like leo you you had a pregnant wife at home boy you yeah gotta... you were extremely surprised that he was out here and and you could tell him out here in the first place you know i i'm not gonna feel so sorry for him like the challenge kind of did um no i i support his decision i don't have anything bad to say about it if your mental health is off you gotta go take care of that like this is not worth it this is not that comes first so if you yeah. have a pregnant wife who needs you and you're having like some triggers of some traumatizing things from your life like yeah, go go home deal with it like don't Go home, but I don't think he should have went here in the first place with a wife who just had a baby. But that wasn't the only issue. It was also the triggers that he was dealing with that he couldn't have expected that would happen. Uh, yeah. I yeah. mean, he did know he was going to a secluded home with strangers, but he I didn't mean, know that he didn't know that they would trigger. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't things. you don't know what's gonna trigger until it does, and then he probably tried to deal with it and was like, This is not good for me. And you know, um, I was, I love that TJ supported it. Like that was. Yeah. I was almost a little surprised because, you know, TJ and quitters. I know, but there, MTV. This was a different circumstance. Yeah. And MTV is really big on um, mental health issues and getting help when you need it. Like all, pretty much all of the MTV shows, they have like disclaimers. If you, you or somebody, you know, they're really big about getting the help you need and stuff like that. So it would MTV would not let them make fun of him for going home for mental health, you know? Yeah. All right. But yeah, Leo, that was so surprising and so sudden. I know. And it sucks because one, he's on my friggin' fantasy. And it's 50. Oh, that's so many points. I'm not winning this season. Um, two, it's early. I was excited to see him on here. Like, obviously, the WWE connection um, makes me more interested to see what he's gonna do um and then i drafted him also because i was told that he was very like dramatic and like 
all attention on me and I was like oh I'm gonna get some good points from drama yeah uh, so I Nicole's got- boyfriend Sean works with the WWE and you know kind of gave Nicole and me the inside scoop on what kind of character Leo plays and it just was like, not I like, accurate I was, I was like Sean I was like were you lying because you <laughs> to draft him but he was like yeah no Leo's gonna get into fights he's gonna like maybe ho- like I don't know if we knew he was married but like hook up like we just thought he was that he's a very big personality um from what I was told like that I just thought we were gonna get a lot of airtime. you know who I, I thought he was gonna be like bear mm. like, that very just like I don't know fun to watch and speaking of bear oh I actually saw I know what you're talking about um I forgot the specifics though would you like to share? Uh, yeah, basically, he is accused of, I'm not sure if it's been confirmed, but it sounds like it's pretty much been confirmed, because uh, Georgia went live about it, too, and... Oh, yeah, okay, I remember. Yeah, so I guess he um, has, like, cameras set out, up at home, and they had sex, and the cameras caught it, without her knowing so basically he was kind of filming her without her consent and then he posted it somewhere I think on his like OnlyFans or something or he like showed some people it and she it got back to her so that's that's like he needs to go to jail that's filming somebody without consent like having sex that is not acceptable and posting it and then put like an idiot like oh So, yeah, so she went live about it, um, and then apparently he was arriving home at an airport, and they, they were, the cops were waiting there and took him into custody when he got to the airport. Um, I don't know what happened after he got taken into custody, but. Yeah, they're probably going through investigations. Yeah, there are charges against him. She also has screenshots, she said, of everything, so I think she has proof. Um, so we'll never see him again, and you know what, if that's, if he did all that, then I don't want to see him again. Yeah. Yeah, if you, yeah, for sure. If but it sucks. I'm just like, God, like why MTV? Like what? It, it's like seems like they just cast the most <laughs> dramatic. Like that's oh. that's where that those are the money makers. I know, but I I hope they don't bring him back if he does get convicted. That's <sighs> we don't need to give him uh, any screen time ever again. Um, but I would like to see Georgia. Yeah. Big fan of Georgia. Hopefully she will come back. Yeah, I miss her. Anyway. Yeah. Um, all right, so Leo's gone. Yeah. Devin and Gabby become a team. Yeah, it's go- so we get to the daily challenge. And I'm officially a stan. Oh, nice. Yeah, you'd think of how obsessed I am with the challenge, I would have some type of memorabilia or apparel. But I had absolutely nothing until you're boyfriend sean decided to gift me this shirt we're i don't like just let's say partner moving forward <laughs> partner yeah i know it sounded weird saying boyfriend <laughs> i like i I, ne- I don't like that word i never yeah used. yeah it just feels like like i'm like you know your better half <laughs> <laughs> my partner in crime <laughs> your sidekick <laughs> all right let's stop all right yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah it sure is sick you got it from the i think it's from like the official challenge website yeah it's comfortable nice um so yeah we get to the daily challenge gabby is paired up with the rogue agent devin um yeah <laughs> smuggle run is the daily challenge name so finally we get an endurance challenge this one is uh shaping up to be a good one i was really excited for this whole episode in general, mainly because of this challenge. But uh, pairs will carry a heavy, uncomfortable capsule through a five-mile race. So we're getting a little bit of a mini final. And then, uh, yeah, throughout the race, there will be checkpoints that you have to complete to move on in the race. Did this deliver for you? Like, I know you had high hopes for this daily challenge. Did you, do you, were you a little underwhelmed or was it? I think it lived up. Okay. I, the only underwhelming part was the checkpoint where nobody can could complete the math so it came down to a two-man race well two people completed it 
Uh, actually, yeah, two people, uh, three people technically, but Anissa and Fessy completed it while nobody was at the station, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and then Ashley. Yeah, Ashley and Corey, aka Ashley, and Teresa and Jay, which oh. uh, came down to them at the end in the uh, foot race, which was, you know, exciting and uh, intense, you know, I thought Corey and Ashley were going to catch up for a second, and then when they lose, you got to think back to when they got lost for like that half a second yeah. and then Jay and Teresa caught up to them yeah um I, I was rooting for Ashley and Corey um yeah me too I don't know why but I because Corey yeah yeah and and Ash I like that I, yeah. I love that I I really like her like I think she's ridiculous yeah. and I don't always agree with like her behavior but I really I, I like her as a competitor a lot um yeah I love to love her and I also love to hate her like when she's being annoying I, I enjoy it as well um one thing that stuck out to me in the beginning of this daily challenge I was like happened basically right away CT called Big T an anchor and called her weak I was like no he was people um you know uh, don't consider her a threat because she's not a threat. She's pretty much an anchor right now. I was like, she performed like it. No. I had high hopes going into this daily challenge for Big T as well, but she did not reach those hopes. No, she didn't. And it's a shame because I, you have to agree with CT. CT wants to win a daily challenge, even though they won the last daily challenge. So I don't think that it's impossible for them to win another daily challenge. It just has to not be this type of daily challenge yeah um but yeah ct wants to be a double agent so he can throw himself down there when he wants rather oh, than yeah. nobody's gonna go willingly go against him he needs to kind of put himself in there yeah yeah um though the daily challenge kind of focused around a few pairs there were a few pairs that we didn't see anything from yeah um it focused around Corey and ashley and jay and Teresa, obviously lolo nam they got some major communication issues. I wrote Lolo and Nam's communication is wild. <laughs> like it's just that is like a toxic relationship. Like I, I I feel like I've been there with that, like there's just nothing is getting through to either person and they're just like bickering and like talking over each other and they both think each other they're both right. And I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, it uh likely will not work out. Uh so what I mean, what I saw was maybe Lolo was screaming in the beginning and like getting aggravated and maybe that shut down Nam because I don't agree with Nam not talking the whole time. And I agree with the Lolo saying like, I need a little like pep talk. Like we're good. Keep going. Uh, you know, we're almost there. Something like that. They're two, they're two opposite where like, um, I feel like Nam could just compete like quietly. Whereas Lolo also seems like a little bit over the top and like right. and and stubborn and a little bit obnoxious um you know she's also not helpful they're both not helpful they're both doing it very wrong but on the opposite ends um and I thought it was a little bit funny how when they were having a talk and she's like I don't know if we're going to be good partners which she's right honestly they should probably try to split up and then keep their alliance but just they I don't think that they work well together I mean remember the drone um we've never seen them work well together um but but she makes a comment that uh she does this for a living she creates teams and like coaches for a living and I'm like no offense but I'm like well then you might not be that good at it because you're not doing it. he's not the only one in the wrong here like you're also wrong so like if this is your job in real life, you should be better at this. And that just adds to the communication issues, even though if that's how you feel, Lolo, you can't say, like, you're a professional at working in teams, and this is the hardest team you've had to adapt to. That's like yeah. a really low blow. Yeah, that that's, that's not, I think she is, uh, she, she is doing, like, she's saying things, and I don't know, intentionally or not, but, like, they yeah. are low blow they're low blows and like obviously that now he's he's gonna shut down you're 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 giving him low blows so yeah I think Lolo is like almost too honest sometimes like yeah I, I like her keep like, some things to herself and say what's necessary in a partnership yeah I mean don't get me wrong like I I like her but this is her so, first 
this is her first challenge. So she's used to a whole different type of um, competitive lifestyle you know, and career. So this is very different. So she um, was on Champs First Stars. So she did get a little taste of the challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good point. Yeah. So, I feel like Champs First Stars is different than this. I don't know. She was in a lot of drama with the females on that season yeah. where they were all going after her every elimination. So she like got the full taste of oh, the challenge. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't think I saw that season. I missed Champs First Stars. I liked it. Um, so... What else in the daily challenge? Also, it featured Fessy and Anissa. Anissa obviously really struggling on this endurance challenge. And uh, I hate that though. I, I like, you know, whatever. I feel like I'm a broken record. I like Anissa. I want her to do well. Like, she needs to train before she comes on these. You need your endurance needs to be like decent. And she's not even like holding herself accountable, really. She is to a certain extent, but then it's like, Fessy, I don't know if you need to realize we don't need to win this challenge. It's like, oh, so if you did, you would do better? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, I remember thinking the same thing. It's like... And she's you, like, the height the height difference is really a disadvantage. It's like, no, you're a disadvantage in this challenge. Yeah, it was disappointing. Well, I love Anissa too. And I hope she makes it to a final, but I don't want it to be at the expense of a guy running with her that i want to win yeah i know um what else happened in this um lira and casey were doing pretty good for a little bit yeah i mean obviously it just yes there was a lot of teams cam and kyle and um leroy and casey that all were doing fine until the puzzle until the uh math equation checkpoint um we found out nam is a mechanical engineer and that was funny when Lola was like why can't you figure this out yeah for real though um, but yeah I, and then that was uh that was pretty much it I have like I wrote Nam and Lola therapy session because that came after but we already yeah, I feel like I'm being ambitious with this statement but I feel like I would have been able to figure this out in 15 minutes they, I, there was already a certain amount already in the puzzle I always say okay I agree I feel like that did not seem that hard MTV needs to start putting the daily challenges, the puzzles and like stuff like that on their website and let people try it because, um, and I've said this before, like remember the one with the cars where they had to move the cars and you and I recreated it and tried to do it? That's fun, yeah. Yeah, like, but it's hard, like we can't recreate this because we maybe know what numbers are there, but we don't know all the other, like why can't they give us that information? That'd be fun to try to Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem that hard. I just feel like some people couldn't even add two numbers or, like, let alone three. They were, like... Yeah, something should, like, pop up during the episode, like, click this link to try to solve this equation. Yeah, and, and like, that'd be even sicker if they, uh, you could play along. So, like, do it at the same time. Right. Uh, yeah. What, what do I know? Nothing. <laughs> uh, Fessy, and now we get to our club scene where Fessy and Gabby are flirting yeah real quick let's run down first jay and Teresa. they win the challenge uh cory and ashley finish behind them third cam and kyle fourth josh and nani fifth casey and leroy sixth amber and Darrell. seventh lolo and nam lolo and nam seventh place that is that's got to be frustrating they should have came in like first or second yeah as in a, a gold olympian and a physical specimen that nam is you would she does track, right? Like, doesn't she do hurdling? I think it's either that or the relay race, because she said she's like a professional at working in teams, so that would make sense if like relay race working with involves running. Yeah. So, and Nam is like built to freaking run. It looks That's like the challenge for you. Oh, frustrating, but yeah, it, it was their communication. Yeah. Uh, eighth, Gabby and Devin. Ninth, Michi and Amber. Tenth, Big T and CT. And last, Anissa and Fessy. So, not too much surprising other than Lolo and Nam. But yeah, we can get to the club scene. Yeah, nothing really happened in the club scene besides um, Fessy trying to spit game again, which cringy. Um, but whatever. But I don't blame him. Gabby is beautiful, and she seems really cool. So yeah. Um, also curious if she had extensions in because her hair looked so thick and beautiful. <laughs> okay. That's something only you wonder. 
was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I hope it was fake because if it's not, then sad. Then you're jealous. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad jealous. <laughs> uh but yeah that's it i mean i wonder if they end up hooking up or i feel like he's slowly breaking down her walls so like it we might... seems like this is what mtv is uh setting up to happen a little hookup sesh yeah i wonder how i mean between tori... fessy and his second choice i was just about to say i wonder how tori feels yeah i <laughs> i guess it didn't hurt her that bad <laughs> I want to know if they're dating right now. Anyway, who cares? Jay and Teresa talk and decide they don't want to go into elimination because who knows? They could just be thrown in next week, even though that has not happened at all in the two seasons where this skull twist has been added. Everybody who has gotten a skull pretty much, except Jay, is the only... Ex- well, that's probably why he feels like this because yeah. the last season he got thrown in like three times in a row. But Devin has a gold skull and he's not being targeted. That should mean you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think because there's so little amount of skulls that people are more worried about getting new ones instead of like recycling old ones. Yeah. Um, I love, are you, are you talking about like the deliberation part or before that? No, this was before, but I mean, yeah, Teresa campaigns around the house for Ashley to be the house vote. Ashley walks in during one of these campaigns which was the challenge in a nutshell yeah lying to each other's faces amazing the ability to just lie in detail to her face i mean she was obviously giving social cues that were extremely nervous she was like doing this the whole time like like biting her lip and stuff um actually knew but yeah, what were you saying? Oh, uh, when we get to the deliberation, I just love how um, Leroy, like right off the bat, was like, "I'm not voting Ashley." And oh I just I love Leroy this season. I feel like in the deliberation, he's always the voice of like reason, and he's kind of like dictating conversations, and it's just really funny. Um, but then when Ashley speaks up, she uh, this is where this is where Ashley is a pro, um, and where Amber has failed and Tori has failed this season when they're scrambling last minute and trying to speak up in the deliberation, in my opinion, the only person who's done it right so far has been Ashley. She hit, she wasn't like just like saying all these random things and like making weird excuses like Tori and Tori just looked like an idiot. Um, but she said she hit like all really fair points. Like, hey guys, don't just do whatever Teresa wants. Like, do you want to go with the strong person? And you know, uh, I don't know, she hit a couple other points where I was yeah, like- Basically no guy should vote for her if they want to win a final yeah the guy should want her to be her partner in the final like they will win yeah and why is everyone doing what Teresa wants when Teresa will vote in one of you against yeah. me yeah so I don't know I thought she did a really good job trying but obviously we saw that ultimately Ash and Corey got voted in and another one of her points you don't know if it's a guy's or girl's day yeah either even though the guy was there a rogue agent or no? Because Devin and Gabby were partners, so. Yeah, Devin was the rogue agent, but then Leo yeah. went home. So technically it could have been a guy's or a girl's day, although Leo did go home. So I like you would... that he planted that seed though. That was a really good point and a really good seed to plant because that starts to make, you know, she was doing a really good job of just bringing up good points that would make you think and maybe make you change your mind, but. Yeah. Maybe uh, another one of her points should have been, don't burn your vote. Burn votes, burn votes are what did it. <laughs> yeah. Did you do the math and see, like, if those people didn't burn votes, if it would have been swayed? It definitely would have been. I mean, I counted the burn votes. There's at least three. There was four burn votes, pretty much. Leroy burn vote, Nani burn vote, Fessy, and Cam. And okay. Cam went in, so. so. Yeah, Leroy and Cam should have definitely voted in Amber. Yeah, that's a lesson you need to freaking learn. Like you don't, you don't burn because it's not. You don't know if it's a burn vote. It could all, also they all burned on the same person. Right. You, I almost thought Devin and Gabby because of all the burn votes were gonna yeah, get voted. Like, guys. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I don't mind lying in the challenge, but 
I don't mind lying when you're backed into a corner, when you have no option. When you go out of your way to go in Cam's room and tell her that yeah. if you want it, Cam, you got it. I promise a hundred percent. If you do not want it, I'm yeah. not throwing you in. I'm not trying to uh, make enemies like that this season. Yeah, like she kept repeating herself and I, like kept digging herself that. a deeper hole. Yeah. And Cam, I love how Cam handled this. Cam knew in the back of her head that she couldn't trust her. And she was just like, mm-hmm. Mm. And Cam just kept going, mm-hmm. You know, like you could tell she wasn't falling for it, yeah. which there's nothing she could have done at that point, but. Yeah. Oh, it was, that's when I was like, oh man, like, what are you doing, Teresa? Yeah. So elimination Cam gets voted in by Teresa. So Teresa and Jay lied to many, many people. It just doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> I just don't understand like any of Jay. Yeah, like I said, time will tell. Um, but I hope they get their comeuppance. Their Pers personally, isn't that the uh, saying? I hope you get your comeuppance. You're making me look this up now. Pretty sure you just made that all up. No, come up, come up and a punishment or fate that will that someone deserves. Yeah, I'm smarter than you. <laughs> what was that? An urban dictionary? No, it's a real word in the real dictionary. Oh my gosh, come up and I'm <laughs> right. <laughs> Sounds so cool using that word all the time now. Yep. I'm going to use it every recap. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> TJ is a savage. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> seriously? That was ridiculous, but... <laughs> well, when he was like, it's a very important day for the guys to stand on the sidewalk line and watch. I was like, oh, yeah. That is messed up, man. I would not forgive you if I was Ashley or Cam. Ugh. Especially after Ashley flipped off the whole house. I know. I was, I, she probably felt a little dumb after, but it's okay. Not as Probably dumb. rattled her during going into the elimination, to be honest. Not as dumb as, uh, was it Laurel when Laurel like freaked out and was like, ah, but then she lost? Yeah. Yeah. That was great. Yeah, much worse than that. Yeah, that was, yeah, embarrassment to a T. Yeah, so the elimination is called Dead Ringer. Start on a tall plat platform. You have to build momentum to hook rings on these posts that are surrounding the platform in which you're on. Six rings hooked to win. And um, there was obviously a feeling out process for both people. Cam seemed to get the hang of it sooner than Ashley. And uh, Killa Cam was activated. I love Cam. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm rooting for Cam for the girls, I think. Yeah, I, I, even though I, I really like Ashley, too, um, in this elimination, I was rooting for Cam because Ashley's won. Um, Ashley will be called back. You know, she doesn't need any money. She's, she's fine. Or I don't know if Cam needs money, but Cam hasn't won. So I felt like, you know, this she, I wanted her to win and have that chance to get to the final. Cam's yeah. been in the final or no? She's been in the uh, the Vendetta's final and the World of the Worlds two final, where she got left on the beach because she didn't complete that puzzle. Okay, all right. So, Suffered the same fate as Tori. Yeah, so she's made it to two. Her elimination record now. Ten and I didn't know it was that good. Me neither. And then one. I mean, then you go back to thinking, like, okay, her first season vendetta, she went into like three at least and one. And then yeah, because she, she faced the mercenaries and then she beat Natalie, small Natalie, on that tightrope elimination, if you remember right. that. Um, her and Kaylee were partners on Final Reckoning, and then and that was when I was like, Oh, this is when her elimination will take her elimination record will take a hit. Who'd they end up winning like two or three. Who'd she lose to? In when? Well, that one been, elimination loss? Yeah. I remember it, but I just don't remember. Like, uh, shoot, this is gonna. 
I don't know why, but I feel like she lost to somebody that she like she could have won. I don't know. Now I gotta know. It was uh, she was on Vendettas, then she was on Final Reckoning. I don't think she lost on either of those. I think she lost on a Purge Challenge on Final Reckoning. Yeah. And then World of the Worlds won. She was partners with Ashley Kane. Oh, okay. Yeah. Her and Ashley lost to Turbo and not, and no, Turbo. No. Who was Ninja's partner? Polly. Her and Ashley Kane lost to Polly and Ninja on War of the Worlds 1 on that spinny wheel thing where Cam started to like throw up. Oh, yeah. That was it. So, who, wait, who did she lose to? It was Polly and Ninja Natalie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember that spinny wheel one where I was like, damn, she, there was nothing she could have done. Yeah, no. She gave it her all, though. She was throwing up and shit, still still trying to win. But 10 and 1, like you said, holy crap. And and the one you lost, you were like literally throwing up and couldn't see straight. So, okay. Okay, yeah. I'll, that's... We'll let that one slide. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm just happy that Corey, like, is, doesn't have to, you know what I mean? Like, he's okay even though she, his partner is gone like yeah i i think ashley was like the perfect partner for Corey though because of her because of her smart brain as bailey yeah. would say yeah because of her uh her being good at puzzles but Corey will get it who do you think now Corey's rogue um right yeah Corey's and then so if Corey's rogue you gotta almost expect the next elimination to be a female elimination right yeah Again? Yeah. Why would they have, because if it's a guy's, then they're going to have two guy rogue agents. That sounds so messy. Yeah, you're right. So it does have to be a girl's next. I guess it doesn't have to be, but it's very likely. Yeah. Um, but, but I see why today could have been guy or girl because there were no rogue agents. So they could have yeah. done either one. Um, so Corey, who do you think would be a good partner for him to be with? We have Teresa, Cam, Nani, Amber B, Gabby, Casey, Big T, Lolo, Amber M. Who do you think would, like, Lolo might, well, but I don't know if she's I think the only chance he has at winning a final, he struggles in puzzles. Every time there's a puzzle, he is struggling. I know, but who's our strongest female right now who's good at puzzles? Maybe Teresa or Anissa, but. Yeah, Teresa, I would not pick Anissa. I guess Lolo. I don't know Lolo too well. Yeah, I don't know either. I feel um, like Cam might be a, the next best. Yeah. Puzzles. Yeah, Cam. I think we've Teresa's seen her. looking like the smartest girl in the house right now. I think we've seen Cam perform pretty well in puzzles before. Yeah. Right? Like decent. Not yeah, I'm not taking just this one puzzle. And no assuming that everybody sucks at puzzles because they didn't complete this puzzle but but yeah um Leroy riled up and wants revenge I'm looking forward to uh to Jay and Teresa getting their comeuppance oh my gosh don't use that word uh Cam has a decision to make will she infiltrate or stay with Kyle, the I people's champ. I feel like Kyle is the people's champ. I think she made the right choice sticking with him. Um, they kind of fly under the radar a little bit. They have a good alliance. Um, They're complimentary in size. Everybody likes Kyle and nobody like, everybody likes him, but kind of underestimates him at the same time. So he kind of like he yeah. has his gold skull. That, that's another gold skull pair right there. Yeah, he gets to the finals. Um, yeah, I think she made the right choice. Yeah, and I'm happy she did because yeah. um, there was a time where they were against each other and now they're kind of bonding. Yeah. It's cool. I and, and even in the club, I, I, these are the little things where Kyle's yeah. dancing with Cam and shoves Leroy away, like the little yeah. things. I loved that. What if he said something so funny, but I was just like, uh, I don't know. It, it was yeah. just- You're just like, back off or something. Yeah. Like, this is my woman now or something. Yeah, this is my- <laughs> um, I, Yeah, I love seeing like their friendships blossom. Yeah. And that's uh, 
the good that comes from these challenges that are done in pairs you know they these pairs are forced to either get along or like in Lolo and Nam's case, just fall apart. But yeah, that wraps it up. Uh, I didn't, I forget the preview for next episode, but I'm sure it'll involve Jay and Teresa's aftermath for their decision. Well, somebody gets in a fight. Josh. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> No, you must be, you must be seeing, seeing yeah, things. You guys were arguing and it was like one was like going after the other. So we're going to get a little drama. And there was security yeah. in between, I believe. I maybe think, even, maybe Jay, who knows? No, I don't, I want to say it was like, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I'm about to like look at that preview right when we stop recording though, because I'm interested. Like my gut is saying Josh and CT, but I, I, I don't know. They have this underlying beef, so I wouldn't be surprised. I've gotten into it multiple times. I don't know. We'll see. But... Yeah, we'll see. Thanks for joining, everybody. Please like, subscribe, Ooh. and make sure to comment. Yeah, I, some, I like comments. Somebody comment. Yeah, I like commenting on comments. So, yeah, please do that. And um, we will see you guys next time. Challenge Express out. Deuces.